All right, so I'm here today with the Works 20 volt cordless power blower. This is not actually mine, it's a family member and they dropped it off. And yeah, so I was able to just recreate the problem that they were facing here. And as you can see, this switch set the full power and the unit should be running. Battery's all the way in, it does have a charge. It was in the middle of cleaning up after mowing and it just cut out. So they said if you cycle power, it turns back on. So let's get that shot. Yeah, so I took this whole power blower apart um, piece by piece, inspected absolutely everything, every wire, every solder joint, every little connection, and found nothing wrong. So I ended up putting the whole thing back together. Sure enough, um, problem was still there. Um, thing would run for a few minutes and then turn off. It's kind of just a final thing. I realized I hadn't uh, cleaned out the motor real good, just compressed there. So I figured, hey, I got nothing to lose. Might as well do that and see if it helps. That's what I found this little uh, oddity with the zip tie I just hadn't noticed before. Gonna pop off these these four screws to get access to the back to the motor. Just the number two Phillips to get those off. All right, so we got in here. All right, so it looks pretty basic so far. We just got our DC motor here. Now, one thing I did notice here when I was blowing this um this electric motor out with the compressed air, this zip tie holding the holding the wires um, down to the motor was pushed down and you know blocking all of those exhaust vents. Definitely cannot be helping to be uh, blocking the uh, the airflow on the motor. So I'm gonna slide this thing up out of the way to make sure that all those vents are uh, you know, getting the max airflow. All right, so I ran this unit um, after cleaning out that uh, motor real good with compressed air and more importantly, sliding that zip tie up so that the uh, cooling uh, ports were fully exposed on that electric motor. And I ran the thing through both batteries. Um, so they both uh, both batteries ran out of charge and it didn't miss a beat, didn't turn off. And those exhaust ports aren't huge and that zip tie is covering up probably 75 plus percent of it. So choking out the cooling air of that motor. So yeah, I'm not sure um, you know whether there's some sort of thermal protection in the motor that was getting activated. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get these batteries, get them both charged up. Yeah, we'll keep uh, testing this thing out, and hopefully this problem uh, goes away for good.